where's where's Starman Omega server? Oh, did I? Let me guess. Did I get banned from it? Did I guess they're banned again from Starman Omega server? Yep, I have. I don't know what I did. I don't remember what I did last there. Are you there? I, I I don't know what I did last there. I have no idea what I did last. What what what? What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Check out, like, what I did last, you know? I don't know. Whatever meme I sent or whatever. I don't know. I messaged. I just ask. I don't know. Ask what I did to, to warrant the ban. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god, that dude. I need to listen, I did not post it in the general chat. Maybe this was a. <laughs> I don't know. I just. I, like. I. I. Uh, maybe I fooled them. I think I fooled them. And thought I actually did. <laughs> In my symptom. Jesus Christ. Talking to them later or something. Wait, hold up. I still have to open my computer, whatever. Open Twitch, you know? Like, uh. Oh, the eye icon, the eye icon you're talking about? Oh, that's the Mighty Eagle. That's the ability to use the Mighty Eagle if you're stuck on the level. Like, really stuck on it. Wait, what? Oh, it's like unpleasant. It's, it's kind of unpleasant or something. Yeah. Use it only as an emergency, like for after so many tries on the level, you know. Let me see. Let me see if chat is avail chat man is up you know available. I can't be I can't believe they put prank and chat man prank us.
Nothing that I'm talking about. Thanks us. Yes. I, I legit thought I legit thought the RNG game was gonna be, you know, deleted. Oh god, like I was so so scared. <laughs> I was legit like, no! You can't you can't delete this you can't delete history. You can't delete the first ever war mortals. Yes, exactly. That's history right there. Exactly. No, I'm supposed to. Um, in, okay, so, uh, Chapman just cleared a message saying in my, in my server called, in the Paper Mario Origami King cha channel, called, Voragami King. <laughs> And when I was when I was saying the RNG games, by the way, when I say, was saying the RNG games earlier, I almost accidentally said, you know, you, you know, server, you know, it's for the forbidden server. Okay, uh, I know, I, I I get your pain with it, you know, no. and my pain with it too. Wait, why? Well, he got banned too. Dude. Dang. Mm. It, hey, at least the bright on the bright side, you. Definitely met a lot of people that were, you know, st stayed by your side from there. That was that you met from there, like me. Oh, we cannot forget Paper Mario. Fan. We cannot forget him. That was that was the best the best part and. Troops, and it's it's sad to think about how he will never return. Just imagine he didn't come to your server. That 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 that, that, that would that I mean not all miracles can happen. Which one? Oh, the one with the corporal, the corporal pick. Oh, I see. <laughs> Dang. I mean, I think it, I think I think it happened to me before. Oh yes, how? Are you? Do you like him? Do you, do you, are you <laughs> hate him? Come on, just.
Oh, oh you're probably wondering about I'm, I'm, I'm still here. Oh, hey, it's not Tina. Yo, are we playing the best game ever made? Oh, so, like, we're playing the game of the year, right? Basically. Okay, we're gonna play a lot. You know, why well, don't a lot of people stream it, you know? It's very confusing. We're the only one streaming the best game ever made. Not you know, what is your history with this franchise? I got it. I got this game a while ago on my mom's when it like first came out. I think I actually really liked it. Uh -huh. And like I beat I beat all the free to play levels. I never I could never I could never buy the full get the full version. But I didn't have any money. Oh damn. You know when you're you know when you're a kid you don't got money to do that. Yeah. So I just like I I like download every single seasonal variant of it just to play the free levels and I thought it was really cool. like, I remember Angry Birds Halloween Angry Birds Christmas Angry uh, Birds Easter Angry Birds That's part of seasons right yeah it is yeah 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 Angry Birds season yeah that was what I got what was the last one that you played what was the last thing Angry Birds season you played well related to the franchise it was Mad Piggies or that, oh the Bad Piggies yeah, bad piggies, yeah. I thought that, that was really cool. Because you can just do your stuff. I really like that that one. Oh my god. How'd they get all the balloons in there? Oh, it's like the game. Like, wait, wait a minute, this is like one of the previous levels. Oh, oh the, 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 the Mighty Eagle. What, what platform is it? He's playing on the Wii U version. I just came out on the Wii U. I knew it came out on the Wii though. Yeah. And the 3DS. Yeah, they're in portable Angry Birds, man. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, gee, I, I, gee, you can already play it on your. Um... Oh. I mean, it makes Imagine sense. How... It's on the Wii U, but. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I can already play on the Oh wait, oh wait, I, for I forgot that this, they forgot that this is like all like, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Why does every pig have the same mustache style? What would what would be your favorite character? Then? I don't know. Yeah, the original probably pig? mine would be how you know the boomerang. I was talking about Tina. Yeah, but I don't, I don't remember any of the names. Chuck is the yellow. Yeah. The fast one, yeah. Okay. I think the bomb is the best one. Oh, bomb. Yeah. I think he's just the best one overall. Gets the most shot. Gets the most work done. Uh. I feel like all the other. A lot of people. A lot of people hate how. Yeah, and they can't aim well. <laughs> like they suck at health. Oh yeah, red, red probably sucks. Red, red does. He has no ability. Yeah. Um, but in Angry Birds Two, he, he is given. He actually does now have abilities. 
well, it's like a, it's like a, it, it, sure, it's more, it's much more harder than a battle cry, but it's like, he actually, uh, he pushes, you know, structures, you know, and it, he's very useful now, he's very useful. He's like, my cake is whenever he gets wobbled. Have you watched the two movies? No, I haven't. I've just seen trailers. I heard the second one's pretty good, but the third one's kind of that. Definitely. Yeah, the second one's definitely part of the trio of, well, the triforce of good video movies. The other three. The other being, the, 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 the other being, the other being um, Sonic and Detective Pikachu. Oh, speaking of triforce, the top of that soundtrack looks like one. Oh, it does. You never gonna see it now. Oh, uh, you curious? I mean, just I mean, just letting y'all know. But I play the every single Angry Birds game. You you name. It. Uh, you're like Angry Birds number one fan. You have. Wait, I've always wondered. Do you have a picture of loss on your wall? Um, you no. No, what? I. Surprisingly, no. Okay, like, like, what do you hang up on your wall? Like, what kind of things do you like? I have a Mario Galaxy 2 poster. Uh, that's, that's actually a big one. I, uh, like, I mean, have you not seen it before? Like, I had a, I, it's basically a self, whatever, I posted on my Yuri server. I'd say I use that screen a lot, but I don't fall. How long have you been on this level by the way? He already beat he already beat this level. Uh, but not like not not And the eagle is just the auto win by the I mean... <laughs> Whoa, what? It's actually kind of big ring. <laughs> Napkino, Napkino, I'll send you- I'll send you a selfie of me. Oh no. In DMs. I'm honored. Bro, it's really him. Oh wait, it's actually this. Man, I always thought the game feed discs were really cool looking. But they suck. Like, functionally, they rot faster and they have less storage space. They rot? Really cool. Yeah, they, they rot. Yeah, Mine never did. Yeah, it takes a really long time, but they do eventually. What do you mean, like, that? What do you mean? Do you they, they start developing holes, and eventually they don't work at all. So, like, Eventually, every every this game is gonna be unreadable in the future, or whatever. Yeah, and the, in even the far, far even far. even even if even if um, what was it? It's yeah. kind of sad. It's actually like this is why cartridges are better than this. Like this is just like cartridges are better than this propaganda. Hey, really? I mean, this, luckily the Switch has that. Like, people are upset of the Switch having cartridges, so if you're buying physical, you're gonna want cartridges over this anyways. Like, in the near future, cartridges aren't gonna be the things that break down. That's actually gonna be a pretty big problem for anyone wanting to play the games. I have, I have, I have a, 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 a good condition, on. You know, um, in Japanese TTYD. Yeah, I think like the best selling games will last a while. I think it's the third party games that'll run out of the fastest because there's just not that many. Oh, oh, <laughs> what do you mean there's not that many? I'm pretty sure there's a lot, but they haven't oh. sold. They don't. They haven't sold as much as like Nintendo's first party. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, true. That's very true. Actually. That is very true. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is you know how GameCube controllers are super expensive right now? 
Like, imagine how expensive they would be if Nintendo never released any toys. It'd be so expensive. Yeah, I don't also, think my question, my question, my question to you, Napkino, is why are you judging um <laughs> the Origami King this early being bad? Oh, well, I didn't say it was bad. I never actually. Said you it was said it bad. looks like Superstar Three. Oh yeah, that was one I just saw, and I saw Mario had over 100 HP at what I assumed to be uh, early game. So I just said, oh, screw this, it's gonna be like a superstar. But after seeing battles, it looks a lot less like that. Definitely. It's color for Splash 2, and it's a, that's a good thing. I don't think it's a really good thing to make a sequel to something that got mixed reception and had horrible cells. I but love I mean, I... <laughs> like, man... I got I fired from Black. I could be the, I could be the biggest fan of Super Mario, but I would not make a sequel of it. Because if I did, a lot of people wouldn't like it. Oh, you, you, already, you already know my thoughts about Super Mario. <laughs> yeah, you hate the game. So, like, imagine if I said, well, some people like Super Paper Mario, and it sold well. So I'm gonna go against me majority and say, well, let's make a second one. I mean, no, I would be no. like, oh no. No. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a yikes. That's a yikes. I, 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 have, I, I was in a, I was in a Kirby server, like the, red, the subreddit Kirby server, oh, yeah. and I was banned. Oh yeah, I remember that. I had someone, I had someone, someone came in there and actually apologized. For oh yeah, that's actually my, someone I know. Yeah, he said, uh, he said that too. Yeah, I think you were ranting about Super Paper Mario so much they banned. No, in a, in a, um, no, it was like a, co I was spamming a copy puff of why I hate it so much. In, in, um, the, the meme channel. The shit, the shit post channel. Oh yeah. They I have I. I have the exact the state right now. That that you know like people people that make meme channels where you can't post these things like what's the it's supposed to be a meme channel where you can just like put any meme you want really. unless it's. Like, I, also, look what I posted in camera. Oh, 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 I think it's our hood too hard. Oh, I think it's our hood too hard. Not Pino, take a look. Oh, yeah. Me, no. It's hacking. I don't know. That sounds, sounds like something. I'm not trying to be mean, but that sounds like something, you know, someone would like that say. Oh, say, hey, are you, are you stupid? I'm not trying to be racist. <laughs> For, I can't remember what it was. it was. I think it was either, hey, are you bald? I'm not trying to be some. <laughs> hey, are you bald? I'm not trying to be racist. <laughs> I just comment on the Facebook username and reply. Like yeah. Someone will be named George Williams, and as a comment, they just say. I'm not sure where that came. That comes from. I feel like Aaron should start seeing comments like that eventually if he keeps doing YouTube. Like, you know how little kids will comment stuff like the, the first name on comment sections? Like, the, their username will be George William, 
and they will comment. They'll just comment George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen those people. It's great. If you hunt comments like this, enough, you'll find you're you're like buried deep down. You should pin it when it happens, like in the comment section. Just George. Oh yeah, my Kobe uh, I can copy still in good condition, so it still works. I'm thankful for that. I think the only discs that are rotted is that one I kept in good condition. But I don't, I'm not an expert about this. I just know I just know it's happening. I've heard a lot of collectors who are having issues getting like Metal Gear Solid games because a lot of them are just rotted or something. Hey guys, um, uh, I'm up to my head out actually early. You can keep streaming if you want to. Yeah, or maybe just you know progress more. To because you know what? Good news, I'm gonna put clear the big origami king. Dude, I, I actually can't wait for that game. So excited. I am so hyped. Also, hyped too. letting you know, the first time the first time I, I woke up to that, when I woke up to that, I thought it was fake. Like, the first time I saw it. I woke up and I looked at YouTube, and the first video I saw was Arlo, you know who he is, right? Yes, I do. I saw Arlo reacting to Paper Mario the Origami King, and I was like, what? So I went on Discord, and like a bunch of people pinged me because they knew I liked Paper Mario, and they told me that it was be Paper Mario. Yeah, a lot of people pinged me too. But like, they re one of them said they replaced you for another part. Hey, they replaced you? <laughs> they did though. I, I, I bet I, I'm still waiting for that call from College Systems though. To see if at least they put a, if they at least put a cameo of me. <laughs> I got... Like I actually have enough money for the game. For that other thing. Yeah. I don't have any money. It's not coming up until like two months from now. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna head out. See ya. So is this entire stream just gonna be beating this level? Haha! Uh. I feel like if I got the full game, I'd run into stuff like this too. Yeah. Two days, but you beat an impossible mode. Oh, uh, did you stream an impossible mode for months, or like was it just off stream? Yeah. I don't think I'd have the will to do that. Yeah, kinda. Except like it's not doing the same thing over and over again. And failing over and over again. Unless I'm grinding much dashes. Like, I, 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 like, I hate 
having to grind ledge dashes, but I think it's a lot better than just being on ledge and just being trapped, like in the, in like in the uh, modern game. Because I think it's just... I think it's really dumb how you can recover and you're like, oh sweet, I'm back on stage, but the real challenge is getting off ledge. I just don't think that's really fun. I think it's a lot more fun just getting edge guarded and getting it over with than getting the ledge trapped. And I also just think it's more fun to edge guard than ledge trap in general. It's a lot less guessing and a lot more hitting them. Yeah, and, like, and getting off ledge is just a total guess on what they're gonna do because you can't react to any of the options in ultimate because of the input delay and the So it's just, a, it's just a guessing game or trying to cover as much options as possible with like Rob or anyone that can throw out a projectile pretty much wins those scenarios. What if I were talking about the Love how we're talking about this while you're playing games. The perfect, the perfect thing to have a conversation over. Just some Angry Birds gameplay. Oh, that was awful. That was an awful look. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know what his name is. Oh, it's Hal, isn't it? It's always that one thing you must do. <laughs> Dang, you don't like you don't like you don't like it when you think so though? You know That was pretty crazy though. He doesn't like talk about anything else. Well, I can imagine it being pretty hard to discover that the way you talk is really what people like, especially if you're trying to commentate. But if you're trying to commentate and do it well, you should accept the decision. Because I've seen some really bad melee commentators that'll like not say anything for half a minute. Then the one time they do talk, it's not even related to the game. It's always, it's always just so. It feels like they're drunk. How like uninterested they are in the game. Oh my gosh. Or like. I feel like there's a difference between going off topic and just not saying anything. Because at least you're going to avoid. Because, like, there's not really much to say when it just started and Mark is dash dancing defensively and Fox is trying to get in. And it's like game two. They both have a game over each other. Okay, it's kind of hard to say, but there's certain situations where that could work. But I don't think saying nothing ever works.
Like, what was your reaction when you saw, like, EVO, like, this, the last Smash 4 EVO Grand Finals? <laughs> you wanted that game to die. <laughs> They shouldn't be attacking the players, they should be attacking the game. That's just the vibe I get. Like, that's the thing I don't get. They don't care about the competitive smash, but they feel the need to make balance changes. Like, it gives it gives competitive players this false sense of hope that Smash Ult can someday be this great competitive game. I feel like there's too many issues with current Smash Old for them to be able to fix with what they're doing right now. Yeah, I watched that video. He said he, could, he like ragged on Smash Old a lot for good reason. Because I think it's the best it's the best example of lowering the skill gap so much compared to like Melee. I think it's just like the best example. And I'm not really sure why they made it so kind of lame. Because like Armada said, the casuals aren't going to be like, Oh man, I really wish wave dashing was easier to do. They're not going to know what wave dashing is. They're not going like, to care. They're going to throw items and cook you off and stuff. It was the competitive shortcoming of Smash Ultimate, I think it was. Yeah, to be honest though, I don't think the, the only thing my opinion that's difficult in Smash Ultimate is controlling your character, and that's really saying something. I feel like there's a thing where you can be like, oh, I messed up, I messed up my movement in Melee, that's my fault. But if I mess up my movement in Ultimate, it's the game's fault. And that's where I think the game falls. I think just fails. Ultimately, it's just so bad. Yeah, I know. I was trying really hard to not say that, but I couldn't come up with any other word. Like, even even ice climbers that walk, like, you know, do that. I went on the stream once, and he said, if you're expecting a good competitive game out of Smash Ultimate, you're gonna be disappointed. Like, even when the guy that wobbles is saying the game is bad competitively, I think there's something going on. Yeah, he's pretty good. He said he might drop Ice Climbers for like, Pikachu or Jigglypuff if wobbling gets banned. Yeah, I feel like every other Pikachu is just so much less than him. It's the same thing for Yoshi. Probably because nobody wants to play him. It's just so much work. And it makes sense because the top tiers of Melee are really fun to play. I think the mid tiers are pretty fun too, but some of their matchups are really frustrating. Like, Luigi versus Marth, it is so bad. Marth just, we just can't get in versus Marth at all. His sword is so huge. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what, when you main a mid tier, I feel like you should kill and expecting to get absolutely demolished and certainly not kill. Like, getting mad at losing to bad matchups, I think it's just, it's just not, it's not very productive. Because it, it's just like getting mad at something that was gonna happen anyway. But that is the way I think it. I feel like this kind of applies to the Fox players getting mad at Mark. Like, a lot of people say that it's not 60-40, but to be honest, I think it's worse than 60-40, because Mark's combo game on Fox is just like how he can deal with everything he has is just impeccable. It's like, no other character in the game is that good at dealing with Fox's pressure. And no it's the chain grabs, it's the edge guards. I think the edge guards are a huge part. If Fox is off stage, he's dead like 99% of the time. Which isn't something a lot of characters can say, because it usually just becomes like a 50 50 based on the Fox angle or what he chooses. So Mark can cover everything, and I think that that could be ridiculous. Which I honestly don't. I don't think it's a bad thing either. I think Fox having a losing matchup is a really good thing for the meta. Because it means there's not one guy that has no losing matchups. Like, even the best character has a losing matchup. I think Kirby is the most oppressive character in Smash 64, but he's not the best. So, let me explain. You know how us up tilt is insane? Well, something people don't tell you is that you literally cannot approach it, so that your only option is to platform camp and just run away. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for Kirby, I think Smash 64 would be more fun to play competitively than... Like, I think it would be the second most fun to play competitively, but Kirby just... Ugh, he's so annoying. He turns the game into something else, and it really sucks too, because even if Pikachu is like really strong and crazy, he doesn't make the game just run away. But that's what Kirby does. Well, it's not even that. Kirby all around has a really good moves. Like, all his moves are just absolutely humongous. But up tilt is uncomfortable, it's huge, and it shield breaks. Yeah, you can just, if you hit someone's shield once with up tilt, you can just keep, you can just keep up tilting in until it breaks. And there's no spot dodging in the game either. Not like that would help, because he could just, he could just up tilt again. <laughs> And also, like, platform camping is really good against Kirby because his, his, like, his up air is really bad. Like, you know his melee and air? That's his up air in Smash 64. So, he... Yeah. And, it, like, it doesn't reach up at all. It's, like, the only move he has that isn't destroyed as it was it. But Kirby's bear, though, it covers his entire body in Smash 64. It's actually insane. I think Kirby's the only character that can somewhat edge guard Pikachu in the game. Because his bear is just so huge, it can cover multiple angles. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of broken stuff in Smash. I think that probably 64 up tilt is like the most broken thing ever though. It's the best neutral option in all of Smash. Oh, 
Dang, you failed. Oh wait, we're going on to the next one. Oh hey, it's nice to see a change of scenery. With whatever that, whatever that pink thing is. It's always just picking the bottom right. Yeah, this should be. I don't even know if we can do this. Oh dang it. You gotta nail this boomerang guy, dude. <laughs> Bro, that was the weakest thing I, I've ever seen. Like, he blew up after destroying one triangle. Oh, this is this is one. You gotta avoid them and try to get them to the bottom. Who would have thought balloons would be a great defensive? On your stream, it keeps saying Super Bow is hosting me to one viewer of things. They won't go. Huh. Is it like overheating? Saw what the other level looks like. I'm not really upset you didn't play it. Dang, dude. That extra input delay is really gonna hurt you on Angry Birds. Yo. Yo. It's hey. It is, it is indeed. Hello. How are you doing? Ah, uh, that's annoying. Oh, hey. On the, you know, since these birds are pillaging this pig's house, what are your thoughts on the riot that are happening all over the U.S. right now? Uh, I really don't want to say my opinions. Uh, I feel like it will, be, it will cause more riots. Well, it won't really. You know. <laughs> it will cause more riots. Dang. People are going to start marching down the street in the name of what hacks they are. <laughs> they could have banner thing. Say we cancel hack or something. I'm just gonna raid the server and just play the hack. Oh hey, just joined. I really love you. You're more than I do right now.
Anyway, excluding the world problems which happen, how are you guys? Oh my! <laughs> Wait, how how do you get van? <laughs> yeah, the, that Mr. Krabs with Neptune meme. The one that says, I put it. Sign your jing, Krabs. Oh, you're playing Mario 64 dance? Yeah. Oh, great. Now it's Ganon from Zelda 2. I'm not yeah, sure. I think is, it's Jen. Why is Ganon in the game over screen when he doesn't even show up in the game? I know, right? You, like, you fight Shadow Link. Like, it makes no sense. Shadow Link. Shadow Link's a cooler I guess, I guess it has a really dark twist in which Link dies and goes to heaven. And you get- and you see Ganon because you killed him. That's the only logic. Wait, those birds actually have cool in You die. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. That's annoying. I was just playing Grand Theft Auto of San Andreas. I got a randomizer. It's hilarious. You got like planes and trains all over the streets, and it's ridiculous. I recommend it for those that like shooting people at San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I have to break the the monotony. <laughs> That's insane. Like, yeah, you, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much sure. Yeah. Yeah. So about Grand Theft Auto, um, there's a mission that causes a riot in that game as well, like, towards oh, wow. the end of the game. Yeah, but it's because it's a corrupt cop. You know, you know. It's pretty... Auto. Yeah, it's pretty dark. You have to play the whole thing, but you get the idea. That's accurate. Oh. Nice. So I'm probably gonna play a hit. Jackbox or draw for one of both. You know, cuz we, we usually play. Oh, well, usually, I'd say. Very rarely. Oh. I'm gonna switch on the stream so I can see what's going on. Where is it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> I know, right? That's pretty annoying. It's like you get the best bird last, but probably first.
Uh. Yo, I have a, I have a question. Do you ever use right control? Right control, like on the right control. Right control. You know the control. Yeah. You know the, the control key. How there's one on the left and right. Do you ever use the one on the right? Oh, you do. The left one is the best. Though. It's like right in the corner. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know why they the one on the right even exists. Probably someone. Uh, like yeah, yeah. It makes no. I guess if you want to use the mouse on your left. But, but honestly, it's like, the, the, the fact that control is so tight, tightened up, like, right next to the Windows button, it's getting annoying. I have the print button. Yeah, literally. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, Wait, is this the level you couldn't beat the other day? I noticed the gold balloon right there, so I was like, wait. Do you have to grab the golden egg again? I don't know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Imagine failing, I have to get it every single time. You're doing the Catman spread, bringing your boomerang backwards and just, you know, let it smoke. Yeah, he said, what? He said, throw it backwards. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But yeah. That was... I love some developers. The developers are going to use the boomerang to hit the back side of the fort and then you just throw it the other way. Oh. His name again, the boomerang? <laughs> yeah, I can. That's real lady. I don't know. I have to find the name. God damn it, where's he? I mean, without Huey, or at least uh, Cabbage, you call the birds that you either call you said by their name, which is important. Where is it? Pretty sure it's in Team Method, the bird's name. Oh, how? There we go. I have to remember Smash and Kirby. How? And also Daydreaming David. <laughs> how? Don't trust anything. How? You know that uh, an episode where it, there was a company named STD? Yeah, <laughs> I think it was from the Game Boy. Yeah, SPD, dude. I always buy my, my product from STD. <laughs> they deliver your STD products right to your house. Mom, I just got STD. <laughs> Imagine if STD actually makes stuff like that. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, they'll probably have to change it. <laughs> The branding would not be that great. Speaking earlier of GTA, did you know that uh, Nintendo was close to signing a deal with Rockstar? And was close to promoting GTA 3 on, I think, the GameCube. That would have been interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the Rockstar, the owners of Rockstar actually held talks with Miyamoto, but Miyamoto was like, 
Now we need something that's less violent and more puzzly, you know. Because it's Nintendo. Why not have some puzzle game? So they went to Sony and yeah. Imagine you though having, I don't know, part, uh, characters from Grand Theft Auto and Smash or something. They just pull a shot. Hey, we. But yeah. Yeah, the one was done there. Do you really have anything that like normal do you I mean, aside from speaking with an ebonic accent, um, uh, weapons, I, I'm not sure, he probably would yield a minigun or, I don't know really, or be dressed in green, because that's the, the hood he represents in the game, but nah, he doesn't have any unique weapons. Like every Grand Theft Auto just adds weapons. I guess he can swim, which is something others can't do, so that's a plus. This level would be I looked at it and thought, yeah, it's just a normal house level with wood. Nothing too special. Do you think there are Kaizo Angry Birds levels? <laughs> that would be hilarious though. It's like only use red and you have to hit a very, very precise spot. Using, I don't know, some weird geometry. I mean, it would be cool, but it's basically a guessing game. Like, where should I hit? But it would be awesome. Well, speaking of, you, you probably get the bird that multiplies by three, the, one, the really small one, and it's all bricks and metal. Something that's pretty much near impossible to be. Oh yeah, that's a blue guy. My brother used to have a ton of angry birds, but he really lost them. That's nice. Yeah, he used to really like angry birds. He has like a bunch of cows of them on his wall. I have a cousin that has the, the one that's the square, but I can't remember which one it is. I think, I don't know. It, it probably was the red bird, but it, in the cube form. I guess it's to use hell and destroy like the yeah the bottom part on the far right, but then that's the only thing I can think. Royal, hey, good stuff. that the balloons were crushing the explosion. That's ridiculous. That, that makes no sense. <laughs> Thank you. 
You'll never beat this level. Yep. Like what time do you, how much time do you have left? This is pretty funny. One level stream, guys. Is this gonna be the whole stream? Just me doing this level? <laughs> Can all tell our life stories of time and despair. Hopefully you can save state. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna emulate the Wii U for Angry Bird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get some HD mods for my Angry Birds experience. <laughs> You, you don't get paid for bits? Uh, how close are you? Yo... If I had money, don't I'd worry. totally give you a cent. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you're kinda... You're kinda doing pretty well on YouTube. It was. It's pretty funny how we we usually bash on YouTube and that's the closest thing you are to achieving success in. That's pretty funny. I think it's a lot easier to find an audience in YouTube and Twitch because Twitch doesn't advertise you at all, but you can get lucky with that. No. YouTube. Yeah, uh, by the way, on Twitch, you have to search for the game you want to watch and you have to scroll down a lot of streams. Um, so hey, I'm Austin. I'm here. But I'm only Yo. but I'm only here momentarily because I'm about to co commentate for a video. No, no, you're important. If you want, I, if you want, I can mention you in the video. Shots fired. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for the sound effect. That was yeah. so funny, guys. But sure don't worry, Aaron. You're relevant. You're relevant to Aran. You're you're a very good challenge runner, especially after that video that you appeared in. Can I just sucking up? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I actually skipped the part where Aran started. So, but anyway, well, like yeah. thanks, thanks to Nick Boss for having me, and uh, be sure to check out the recording once we're done with that. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Uh, enjoy the Angry Birds, Aran. See ya. Uh, Nepkino? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm looking for the server. Uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, good luck, fellas. Yeah, I'm going because I saw Nepkino and Jasper here, and Huey and Splits Blue weren't here, and that was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Just fired. Wow, this stream is roast sessions. <laughs> Hey, Ryan is gonna turn team plus streams. This is an Eggers this moment. Team. Eggers. It was, that was supposed yeah, to right. be an egg on Poggers, but it didn't. It didn't pan out. It, pretend that didn't happen. Aaron <laughs> hey, is gonna turn into the Angry Birds get okay with the level, I think. Oh my! Well, that was uh. I'm not sure if I jinxed that, but good stuff. Oh, thanks. Yeah, like we did it, boys. Dr. Seuss is no more. <laughs> good stuff, Aran. The birthday is no more. <laughs> Wait, so how many more left? How many more... Oh wait, the butter's still there? Why is the butter still there? 
Just Why are you bullying me? Just a forever scar with your scrub. No, no. Napkino sounds a lot like Huey, so I keep thinking he's here. Hello, it's me, Huey. No, I mean, who do you? No. If I sound like Huey, we can, yeah. we can do voice clips out of context, like... You know, Super Paper Mario wasn't that bad. See you later. See ya. Stay tuned for more hype Angry Birds gameplay. Yeah.